Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to run the game Sons of the Forest on the Apple Silicon Mac. So there is no macOS port of this game, so therefore we have to use the Windows version and we're going to be using a compatibility layer called Crossover. However, because this is an Unreal Engine 4 game, if you try to run this through the current version of Crossover, which is version 22.1.1, then you're going to get a whole load of graphical issues that are basically going to be completely unplayable. However, if you use this new patcher called the CX Patcher, this modifies crossover to use the latest versions of DXVK and Molten VK. And although there are several graphical issues still in place, it is actually playable and you can render the game correctly and still make progress within this game world. And it's not really perfect. However, I would say still very playable. Just be aware that using CX Patcher is not officially sanctioned by the crossover team. If you do end up using this, make sure not to bug Codeweaver's support. Any modifications to crossover come at your own risk. So today I'm gonna to show you the full entire process of installing crossover from scratch, applying the CX patcher and getting this game to work as well as possible on the Apple Silicon Mac. So if you haven't subscribed already then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest game tutorials. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go ahead and install crossover for Mac. So make sure to click the link at the top of the description. If you make a purchase then I'll receive a small commission and you'll be helping to support the videos that I create. So once we've clicked the link in the description we're going to get to the Code Weaver's website and I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and then we can go ahead and start a free trial of crossover which you can use for 14 days if you do decide to purchase crossover later what you can do is to follow the link again in the description and once you press the buy now button you can enter the promo code apple gaming wiki new and then press the arrow button here and then what you'll find is that you'll get a 20 percent discount off crossover plus which is the version that i recommend if you click my link and make a purchase then you'll be helping to support this channel and the videos that i create however today we're going to be showing you the free trial so all you need to do is to press the try now button here and then we need to scroll down just enter your name and email address and then press the download trial now button. So crossover Mac is now downloading and then we're gonna go into our finder window here and then go to our downloads folder and then find the crossover zip file that we just downloaded. Then we're gonna double click to extract and then this is going to unarchive the zip folder. Now I'm going to drag and drop the crossover icon here and put it in applications folder in order to install it. So within applications, what I'm gonna do now is to scroll down and then find crossover and then double click. It says here that crossover has been downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Press open. So because the version I'm using as a trial we can press the try now button or if you did make a purchase with my link then you can press unlock with purchase info here however here we're going to press try now so now that crossover is installed what we're going to do is to install steam so click on this icon here or you can type in the word steam and you can click on this logo that comes up and then what we're going to do is to press the install button and what it's going to do is to create a windows 10 64 bit bottle called steam and it's going to do all of the configuration for you if anything pops up like this just press yes complete the xml parser setup accept the terms and conditions, press next, install, finish. Now it's gonna go through the Windows Steam setup. So I'm gonna click on next here. I'm gonna let this install within the Steam bottle and then click run Steam. It's gonna download the Windows version of Steam here. Here it's extracting. And now that's done, the Steam login window has opened up so you can sign in with your account name or you can scan the QR code which is loaded up using the Steam mobile app. So we've now logged it into the Windows version of Steam. And because this is the Windows version of Steam, any game that you download will be a Windows PC version of the game and and it's going to run through the crossover compatibility layer. So what we're going to do now is to quit out of Steam and we're going to apply the CX patcher. I'm going to open up crossover again and we're going to enable DXVK. So this is going to allow DirectX 10 and 11 games to run using this backend. Some games will benefit as well from using eSync. Just depends on the, it just depends on the specific game. I'm going to leave this off for now. And what we're going to do is to go to crossover and then quit crossover entirely. So that's shut down completely. Then we're going to go to finder and then go into our applications folder. We're going to double click on the crossover patcher. And the next thing that we need to do is to go to the CX patcher GitHub page, which I'll leave a link to in the description. Then what we're going to do is to go to the releases section here, and then we're going to find the latest release. And then under assets here, we're going to download the patcher.app.zip. And that's going to go into our downloads folder. Then we'll open up finder, go to downloads, and then double click on crossover patcher. And then we're going to drag and drop this into the applications folder. Within applications, we're going to scroll down until we find the crossover patcher, double click. And if you have this error message, then just hold down the control key and then click on the application and then press open. And then we have this button here to open manually. Just be aware that code weavers have got nothing to do with this patch. If you do patch crossover, then this is at your own risk. Custom DXVK and Molten VK versions are not supported for crossover Mac. Please don't contact them if you do make this patch. If you do need support, then check out the Apple Gaming Wiki 
Discord where the developers tend to hang out. So here we're going to agree and proceed. And what we need to do here is to click on crossover in the applications folder, drag and drop this onto the patcher. And it says here, your app is updated. So now crossover is up to date. Close this now and double click on crossover to reopen it. And then we're going to double click on Steam and then load it up again. So now that we have the CX patcher patched, then there are a bunch of games that we can try, which are going to be improved by the patcher. So next I'm going to go to the store and then we're going to make a purchase of Sons of the Forest. So select this within the store page of Steam and then we're going to make a purchase by adding to cart and then purchasing this for myself and then checking out. So once that's purchased, we can go to library and we can type in Sons then find Sons of the Forest, then we're gonna press the install button, then we're gonna download and install this into our Steam library. Just press finish, and this is gonna take a little bit of time, it's nine gigabytes in size. So once that's downloaded, we're gonna go ahead and press the play button and then launch the game. So as you can see, Sons of the Forest actually works pretty well on the Apple Silicon Mac. There are several stutters due to shader compilation stutter. However, the game world does render. So one thing that I would highly advise you to do is to turn the fog setting off. Otherwise, this results in this kind of weird colors striving on the screen all the time. So you want to make sure fog is off. Other than that, there are some other graphical issues and hitches. However, other than that, the game actually seems quite playable, especially on my MacBook Pro with the M1 Max chip. Let me know in the comments what the performance is like on your Mac. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other videos like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.